What about navigating mm. the labels? You see NBA Youngboy saying that the label is giving him hell and they, he feels like they withheld his uh, project to keep it from being number one twice in a row. Meek Mill is saying that he made his label hundreds of millions of dollars and he's still catching hell out of them as well. Being somebody that has also had to navigate those rough waters with labels, how do you suggest new artists go about getting Just don't sign to a label. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's, that's it. Just don't sign to a label. And take the slow road. I mean, that's just it. Because don't nobody uh, want to take the slow road, bud. Well, uh, look, yeah. if you can take take the fast road and get robbed. Then. Look, <laughs> you wanna be, do you want to be famous or do you want to be rich? Come on now, because there's a likeliness that you might not be able to be both in this game. Mm. So at a certain point, you got to decide: Ooh. Do you want to be seen and known and look like you got bread and have everybody assume that you got bread, or do you really want to have bread and have people just assume you broke and you're not really getting it? Bun, I'm with. We, well, you just came man. here with me, okay? I'm just. But saying. I need you to go a little deeper because people don't believe that you can have money and not be famous, or they don't believe that you can. Be famous and not have money. Okay, uh, let's do it like this. Do you know <clears throat> the five people that own Walmart? Do you know what they look like? Mm -mm. These are some of the richest people in the country. <laughs> Each one of them worth over $20 billion. Do you know what they look like? Nope. Do you think they care if you know what they look like? At all. Exactly. That's that's. I feel like that's all I got <laughs> to explain. <laughs> They but, each worth they each worth twenty billion dollars, and I and you wouldn't know what one of them looked like if they sat next to you on the bus, which they probably wouldn't because they worth twenty billion dollars. But what I'm saying is, I, for example, I got a good friend. His name is Brett. Yeah. Brett lives in Dallas, and I've taken some friends of mine over by Brett's office. And people are like, yeah, Brett's a nice little office, you know. It's not a big fancy office. Yeah. It's a nice little office. They're like, what do Brett do? Brett own uh, Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> $40 billion corporation. Yeah. Right? And bread office is, like I said, it's nice. Yep. It probably don't look as good as QC. Come on. Come you know? On. So the idea that that people have to see you being rich is as old as time itself and as wrong yep. as time itself. You know what I'm saying? You can't really enjoy money if everybody know you got it. How about that? Hmm. You can't even really enjoy money if people know you got money. That's cold. Like, I remember somebody asked me, um, it was Dame Dash. Dame Dash, I was, we was doing Big Pippin. And they was like, man, Jay Prince, you know, Jay Prince, I'm like, you got a lot of bread. How much bread do you think Jay Prince got? I was like, enough. <laughs> and, and for me, that's all I want. I, I just need enough money. Exactly. I don't need all the money, I need mm -hmm. enough. How enough to do whatever I need to do. Enough to take care of whoever I need to take care of. Come on. Enough to be wherever I want to be. Hmm. Come on now. That's it. How do we get the youth to understand that message, though, too? Because like you say, if you got the owners of Walmart, mm -hmm. don't nobody know who they is and they're the richest people ever. Mm -hmm. But the only, the only people that the kids know are the drug dealers, the ball players, the rap stars, and the people that's showing off the money. You know, trying to show them what success is without... Putting yourself in damn danger. You got to give them a broader worldview so they can see what real money look like. Yeah. Because I tell young people all the time, everybody that you looking at on TV and on the internet that's that's rich, with the exception of a of, of handful of people, maybe 10 people, somebody pay them. Like, I've known Shaq for over 20 years. Shaq is one of the wealthiest people I know. Yeah. But somebody paid Shaq all that money. Woo. And the people that paid Shaq still... As rich as Shaq is, Shaq is probably as close to a billionaire as you can get without actually being a billionaire. Yeah. He may be a billionaire at this point. I don't know the man money like that. But I will tell you that everybody that paid Shaq, that helped Shaq become a billionaire, was a billionaire when he got there. Mm. And he ain't know what none of them people look like before they cut him that check. My God. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> this idea... If you know somebody got money, if you can look at somebody and tell how much money they got, they ain't got no money. Ooh. Damn. They ain't got no money. <laughs> That's ice cold. If I can look at your house and your cars and your clothes and your jewelry and come up with a sum of how much money I think you got, you ain't got no money. Oh, my God. You ain't got no money. I shouldn't really be able to calculate looking at you what you worth. Thanks. Because if that's the case, pretty much everything you worth on you. Come on. Hmm. Once I take the right. bitch ass jury off of you, 
<laughs> you know, and then while it's at your pocket, them little bands you keep showing off and spelling shit out with, once I take that from you, I done fucked over 70% of your worth right there. Okay, when you go back to social media, you see these new trends, and you see if folks spelling buddy, uh, using buddy to spell their name and everything else. What goes to your mind then, boy? Ain't nothing wrong with having fun. Yeah, they, this ain't nothing new. I remember all this start. People don't really remember all this started with Boosie counting them hundred. Yeah, all yeah. this started with Lil Boosie <laughs> on the camera counting them hundreds. If you see a fifth in here, I'm a bitch, right? <laughs> that shit, hmm. right? Just sitting there counting that money. Yeah. And it really fucked people up because if you didn't really know Lil Boosie's following and you wasn't really fully aware of who he was in the South, it blew your fucking mind that this little dude had that kind of money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of in the way that guy is walking around with his bread on the board. And I don't think people really, really understand the kind of bread that these young cats are making. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How did you keep the money from messing up your mind, though, too, boy? I, because I, I ain't made enough money to get fucked up over money. Well, now nah, you I, give somebody no twenty dollars, they want to act a fool, boy. No matter how much money I made, and I make good money. There's gonna yeah. be some people that's gonna die that I'll never make the money that I made. Thanks. I know some people with some real money. Mm -hmm. you no, know, when I first started, I remember my first like 10, 15 years of my career. I used to look at. Jermaine Dupree as a gauge. Mm -hmm. I used to look at Scarface as a gauge, mm -hmm. right? In terms of not necessarily how much money they were making, but they were actively trying to take full advantage of what was available to them the entire time. Yeah. Even to this day, Jermaine Dupree is still trying to take full advantage of the resources and the opportunities in front of him at all times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So these are the type of people, if I'm a follower lead, I'm a follower. Mm -hmm. Because these people are getting richer, mm -hmm. right? But they're not, how do I put this? Jay-Z is getting richer and richer, and he's wearing less and less shit that hmm. look rich. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody notice that? I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. you go to a, a, a Grammy party, and everybody at the Grammy party going to have super expensive Gucci suits mm -hmm. and belts and all kind of ice and shit, and Hove going to come in with some warm-ups all, <laughs> and dreadlocks, <laughs> and a watch. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Straight up. And fuck the room up, because he knows he's... Hove is the one that's taking these millions with other these meetings with other wealthy people. Yeah. And you keep going in these rooms with these people trying to look like money. No, you've got to sound like money and hmm. think like money. My God. Cause all that shit is a bluff to the, to these people. Yeah. You can't sit in front of Jeff Bezos with nothing of value and think you've proven nothing. I don't care what watch you got. Shout out to Khaled yeah. and Fat Joe pulling out these four <laughs> million and five million dollar watches and that shit is nice. But Warren Buffett ain't impressed by that. And no. they know that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hmm. Now that's a perpet but they're not doing that to impress those people. That's a perpetuation of business. Yeah. Right? Cause they're cause Khaled is actively promoting Jacob. Exactly. And Fat Joe is it's actively promoting Christine. That. Right. Yeah. So but I'm saying to say that, like, when you, you can have all that shit on, when you get around, that's to show you got money and that you might be rich, but you're not wealthy. Wealthy doesn't have to prove to anybody that they're wealthy. Mm. Did you come into the game with that mindset, bro? No, no. When I didn't know what rich click? was. I didn't know what rich was. It, it, it's consistently clicking. Okay. It's not that it just clicked one day. As I get into a tax bracket and think I'm doing something, I start meeting some <laughs> some 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 people doing it for real. And I realize I still got work to do, and I'm still I'm 48 years old. I'm still meeting people. Yeah. Um. You know, took a meeting with some guys. You know, involved with the Rams ownership. Oh. You know. Um. Just you know, random business. Nothing specific. But just the fact that we know each other and we want to do business together. Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. If I'd have saw this dude in at the gas station, I would not have assumed he was part of the Rams on the shit. Like, and that's what this world is starting to come to. So you see me now, I really don't, I wear my wedding ring, that's pretty much the only jury I need to, to yeah. define me at yeah. this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if I want some change, I feel like I need some jury, I can go buy some exactly. jury. You know, like I said, because I got enough. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man.